you what it is what it do pop in welcome back to being that right now maybe it's more like you guys should welcome me back because it's been a while okay um thank you guys for tuning in if you're new to the channel make sure you bliss us by subscribing if you're a returning subscriber you know you know how it is you know what we do um i look a little bit hyped up but i'm not because quarantine lockdown coronavirus what else are we doing self social distancing blah, blah, blah. whatever that stuff is driving me crazy i i'm happy i'm not the only one because I, I was watching a youtuber she was talking about how she feels terrible she doesn't even feel like filming videos because i don't know i don't know it's just something about this feeling like it just makes you feel like you need to be i don't know i can't even explain it i sleep all day i eat i sleep eat no i sleep and i'm hungry all the time i barely can even get my work done my school work done like i literally do my work three hours before it's due i get it done though but you know what i'm saying like i'm so i don't know how i feel so i'm trying to push myself out of this shell so that i actually start doing stuff that benefit me i mean i've been i've been doing a whole lot of stuff actually that benefits me but i'm not really my usual self so that's really what i um getting back to um and then another thing is i've been very very homesick um terribly because i just feel like this is a horrible terrible time to be facing when you're not around like your family but i'm happy i'm with my second family so that's a plus but you know i'm homesick for my my family back home it's my way but that's fine okay that's okay um yeah, that's what i like to tell myself but i don't do anything at all so it would be really dumb because people ask me for like quarantine vlogs like i'm rich or something no i don't do anything i eat and sleep and that's terrible and i'm so hungry i'm trying to snack on rice cakes but they don't help i'm about to work out to take a shower eat pretend to do my homework that's due tonight at 11 59 read eat be on my phone a whole lot of hey guys it is the same day it's on the same day um i decided to turn this into a little bitty mukbang because it's supposed to be a vlog but then i was like you know there's nothing to vlog really oh i am eating the special that my grandmother-in-law in law yes do not correct me oh are you married that's my okay my grandmother in love okay she made some wings some buns some rice so this is spicy ranch no this is spicy ranch wings this is ranch wings then this is some buns and some rice mm. Mm. Uh, I don't like mukbangs, mukbangs, because I don't like to talk whilst I eat. Like, so I'm gonna talk to you guys basically about like, my homesickness, and it's not a sickness really. Like, maybe we like over exaggerate when we say homesickness, homesickness, and it's like, are you actually sick? Like, is it something? I mean, it is psychological, it's mental, and stuff like that, but. To me, it's not that heavy. It doesn't go as past as just missing my family and stuff. When I got here, it was great. It was amazing because my mom came with me and my mom was with me the first month of being here. I loved it so much because I could literally see my mom every single day if I wanted to. Like, I could see my mom after class. Like, the first day that my mom... Oh, my gosh. This is crazy though, cause I'm already my almost in my third year. Like the first day, my mom dropped me off at school, and I was alone. I was like, "Dang, I'm alone!" Like I felt, it felt really weird. Like I was by myself. I didn't have a roommate, so I was by myself, and I was like, "This is crazy." But the next day, she pulled up and she spent the whole day with me. Like she'll come get me with her friend. We would go like buy some food, get some ice cream, like you know, go sh oh my gosh, like we would like just go shopping. So it was an amazing first month of my freshman year because my mom was there. But I should have like I really enjoyed that time because this is the only time I've ever really had to like you know be with my mom here, if I can say, like just to myself. 
I was fine until I don't know I would just I would literally have random days honestly guys like once every two weeks <clears throat> I would just start crying bro and I had a room to myself so I would literally just start crying and most like I would talk to my mom so much but I, I would miss my grandparents because my grandparents are like my parents literally so I, I consider myself having three parents like three parents my two grandparents and my mom and I would just sit there and I'll start crying like I miss him so much and, um, and then I met my boyfriend and he was like a, a huge distraction from homesickness like he was a big distraction because especially when we first met we were together all the time women are being emotional every single time we fought I would start being homesick until I was like, grow up. <laughs> you can't be crying all the time because you miss home. You know? And one thing that has always stuck to me that my grandmother said, my grandmother said something that has always stuck to me over the years. She was like, when we separate like this, we're separating for the good like it's not anything bad that's separating us it's something we should be happy about so she was like don't be sad when you're like miles and miles away across the oceans in America because it's a good thing it's not a separation that we cannot change it's not like you know when it's time you cannot fly back here you know what I'm trying you know what I'm trying to say like basically she was saying it's not death so that's not something you should cry about you should know that you know god will make sure that we meet again and who that sticks to me all the time like my soft spot is my family like i want you guys to understand like my soft spot is my family when i say i'm homesick i'm not zimbabwe sick as such i am family sick and so just thinking of my family like thinking of my grandparents i talk to my mom a lot i talk to my mom every single day for like four like two hours minimum like one hour minimum like i talk to my mom every single day and i don't take that for granted but i'm saying like i get to connect with my mom every day but i don't get to talk to my grandparents that much and so when i do it makes me so emotional in a good way you know so excuse me i've been okay all 2019 to be honest i handled it very well 2019 was actually a great year for me in college because that was the year i grew i grew so much like it's ridiculous like by the time that most of the people i went to high school with were now starting to go to college and they're like so over excited about it and they can't even like put themselves together and stuff like that i already had myself together and i'm really grateful and i grew so fast and when i talk to like certain people that are my age i see like our levels are really not the same because some people are still like excited by little things that i have already been through you know what i'm trying to say so 2016 was just an amazing 20 2016 was an amazing year to come to think of it but 2019 was a great year of like it was a year of growth i started um managing my grades better that's another thing i will do a video on grades because 2018 my grades were terrible but i started like managing my grades better i started like acting like an adult like literally having conversations with myself like bro wake up and, and then i went home and i decided i don't really like being home for that long like i don't i really do not like being home for three straight months a month is good and I, I like i said i love my family and everything but like the fact that i've already been in college and then being under somebody's control it's like i mean i could be in my room right now I could be doing this you know what I'm trying to say so it was really hard but I mean I love to go see them but not for too long <sighs> yeah I know that's that sounds kind of bipolar but mm. and I came back it was like I said 2019 was great 2020 like when this thing started like this pandemic issue bro I was excited to like 
like I said, I don't like going home for that long, but this time I was excited to go home because my mom had so many things planned for me. Like, and I was so excited to go home, bro. I have a little brother on the way. Like, it's so much exciting stuff that um, I was just ready to do. My mom just went up on my YouTube channel and I told her, she's like, hey, I'd love to do videos with you. It was so many things that would like really exciting me about going home. Turns out I cannot go home and it's terrible. Like I'm worried. I don't even want to lie to you. Like I'm worried about them half the time. And I'm worried that they're worried about me half the time. And like my mom's pregnant. I really feel like I wanted to be <laughs> What? But I really feel like I needed I wanted to be there, you know, to see my little brother and my other little brother and my sister and my mom like it's just terrible to know like it's it's one thing to feel like you know when i said i don't like going home for that long it's one thing to feel like oh i don't want to go home and then another thing to feel like i cannot go home like when you are enclosed like you know what i'm trying to say like it's terrible <sighs> i have a piece of chicken natalie <laughs> So it's a really tough time, like for be like to be a a college student. Sometimes I just I'm like it would be so much better to be in my mom's arms in my mom's house right now. I'm not like sad, but I have my moments, and I just want you to know you're not alone. Like that's all I want to say. Like you're not alone in this, and just pray but enough with the being sad and being a little wheezy um how i cope is i pray when i'm sad like literally kneel down on the floor and i start crying to god like god i can't do this anymore i kid you not i'm not making this up i'm not over exaggerating i literally just go down and i'm like god it's so hard and i cry and then when i get up i'm okay nobody else knows this nobody knows when it happens well you guys know now but nobody knows when it happens i read a lot like i read people's stories and stuff i have a book with like 101 stories so i just read and i just read and i read and i sometimes pretend to do my homework like i said Thank you guys for watching. Yeah. I'm so sorry I've been gone for a long time. Thank you guys for watching and make sure you leave a comment, like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every single time I post a video. If you are a new subscriber, I really, really appreciate you and I appreciate my old subscribers too. To all those people that are very supportive, that support me. I love that about you because it's not a lot of you guys even if it's just 200 of you guys i just realized that i should never be discouraged but yeah thank you guys for watching this video much love can i pick up hey girl jokes and just send you pictures in the i'm putting exactly this exactly what you said really this retake no we are raw and real at being that right now See, I don't even. I really I have no makeup on. Anyway. Catch you in there. Bye bye. <laughs> okay.